is based on, on uh, several philosophies. Uh, and our first philosophy goes to our formulations philosophy. And, and I, want, I want you to understand, at, for 33 years, I've developed formulas that have been sold all over the world. And, and so when we have a formulations philosophy that we're going to stick to, that philosophy is going to drive the production and the creation of not only our original products, but also any future products. And so here's our formulations philosophy that I want you to understand that, that we have internally. So we're going to keep our products as natural as possible. It's very important that we make sure that we're keeping them as natural as possible, but it's also important for us to understand that there are some ingredients that we that may be derived naturally, but in order to make them active, uh, those ingredients basically have to, to, to undergo some type of transformation, which takes them out of their quote natural state. But we're still gonna be as natural as we possibly can. Our products are gonna be clean. We're gonna make sure that our products do not contain any of the ingredients that we have published on our prohibited ingredients list. We want to keep our products clean. We don't want to keep our products free of, of other ingredients that are going to cause you issues that could be allergenic, that could be, you know, a number of different possible uh, health and wellness issues. Our formulation, our foundation for our formulas are going to be based on peptides whenever possible and amino acids otherwise. And so we're going to use combinations of peptides, combinations of amino acids, combinations of other cofactors and coenzymes that help to synergistically enhance those products so that you're getting the most effective product that you can possibly put into your body. So peptides and amino acids are going to be our base, and then we're going to support that with other synergy enhancing nutrients as well. Our products are going to be unique and they're going to be effect effective. And most importantly, our products are going to be driven by science. So we're going to use science proven ingredients, uh, ingredients that have randomized controlled trials, uh, uh, significant literature reviews supporting those ingredients. So our ingredients are going to be driven by science. Next, we have very, very strict manufacturing requirements. Our manufacturers are going to have to follow and let me tell you something, guys, let me let me before I start this, I want you to understand I've got 33 years in manufacturing. I've been a CEO of four different farm, uh, manufacturing companies, uh, three dietary supplement, health and wellness and one pharmaceutical company. And I know I know manufacturing. And so we have very, very strict requirements for our manufacturers. Our manufacturers are FDA registered and inspected. Our manufacturers have positive inspection reports from FDA. Let me tell you something. If you ever have anybody tell you that our uh, that that dietary supplement manufacturers, product manufacturers that we use are not regulated, they're wrong. They are FDA registered. They are FDA inspected, and they are going to have very positive inspection report, reports. Zero serious violations is what we're looking for. A serious violation, which happens frequently in this business because of people taking shortcuts, products not testing out, people basically not following GMP's good manufacturing practice. It happens in our industry. I can walk you to, to facilities that I have personally been into that I walk right back out because it doesn't take much time to see that those facilities would never pass our requirements. We've got relationships with these people at every level. So understand that our facilities are going to be rigorously tested to make sure that they can comply with our requirements. Next, we've got NSF GMP certified facilities. First question we ask, are you NSF certified? If they're not NSF certified, we walk out the door. We never even go see them, actually. Uh, we have a questionnaire with about 35 questions. Very first question, are you NSF GMP certified? Uh, our, our facilities, their laboratories, their R&D laboratories and their quality laboratories must operate under good laboratory practices as well. So GMP certified, good laboratory practices. Those are non-negotiable manufacturing requirements. And our facilities, every facility that we use complies completely with those non-negotiable requirements. Additionally, 
We require that our facilities, and they are modern, and they possess efficient manufacturing equipment. If they don't, they're not going to be able to handle the capacity of manufacturing that we are going to give them. So they have to be modern. They have to be very efficient with their equipment. Clean facilities with qualified sanitation programs. Guys, I can't tell you how many facilities do not pay attention to sanitation processes and do not have a validated sanitation program to their in within their uh, uh, their SOPs, their standard operating procedures. That is a no go for us. We want inline metal detection and product safety measures. Our products are going to be first and foremost, they're going to be safe. Next, they're going to be effective, but really they're going to be safe and effective. That's very important for us. Our products are our facilities are going to be required to have a preventative maintenance program because let me tell you something, bad maintenance means bad equipment and bad equipment means downtime. Downtime means we run out of product. Our facilities all have very, very top notch preventative maintenance programs. And last, but certainly not least, the capacity to expand as our business expands. That is very important because there are some really, really small manufacturers out there. And if they're too small to be able to expand, we cannot use them. Personnel and expertise. This is another very important because I can't tell you the number of facilities that I walk into that do not have qualified people running their facilities. So we're looking for significant manufacturing and operations experience. I am looking for people that have been in this industry for a very long time and understand how to produce products in a quality manner. And that is very important to us because without quality, we have nothing. So everything starts and ends with quality for our products. We're looking for a staff that contains food scientists, analytical chemists, microbiologists. We want those people on staff and present as our products are being produced and developed uh, all the way through the process. We want an adequate engineering and maintenance staff. I, again, equipment that doesn't work, doesn't produce product. When they're not producing product, we run out and we cannot have that. So as part of our inspection and our audit on the facility, uh, part of our what we call our facility audit, audit program or FAP, as part of our FAP, adequate engineering and maintenance staff, they will be interviewed and there will be discussions had. And then, of course, you've got to have proper training. So these people, they need to have documented evidence of training, regular training, uh, preferably on a monthly basis of some type in order to uh, stay up to date on SOP, stay up to date on procedures, stay up to date on how to produce product in a quality manner. Products, pure and potent. This is our promise to you that we will do everything to ensure that our products are pure and potent. You take our products to a lab to be tested, they're going to test out very, very effectively. So we've got three testing points throughout the manufacturing process. Our raw materials are tested when they come in the door. And I'll say, actually, I want to qualify that by saying there's probably four testing points because our, te our raw materials have to be accompanied with a C of A. So in all likelihood, our raw materials are tested at the supplier before they even get to our facility. We test the C of A points on our raw materials. So our raw materials are tested. We test in process. So we pull random samples in process and we test for purity and potency in process to make sure that we have homogenous, high quality products. And then of course our finished product testing. Our finished product testing are gonna be, our products are gonna be tested for potency. They're gonna be tested for purity and they're gonna be tested to make sure that we have no residuals such as glyphosate. Glyphosate is a no-no in our products. And so when we're testing for potency, we're looking for vitamin, mineral, uh, active ingredient activity. Okay, purity is microbiology and contaminants. Um, and again, no residuals, glyphosate, pesticides, herbicides, things such as that would be considered residuals.